What is up you guys? I'm Trainboy and welcome back to another video and today we have a big unboxing video for you and I'm just saying if you have not ordered this engine yet and if you have the money to afford it just order it. I beg you just order the thing you will have so much fun with it. Let's sh I'm gonna show you what it is. Bam! That's right guys, I finally have it. Um, uh, this is my Union Pacific Big Boy number 4014. And it's um, uh, representing the 4014 during the 150th anniversary of the driving of the Golden Spike. And uh, I, just had, I just could not believe, um, uh, I just cannot believe that I got it. Now this, um, I just, I'm getting, I got this today as a birthday gift. Um, uh, I know it's a little early for, before my birthday, but I tell you, I just, my family let me get it anyway because they knew I wanted this so bad. I've been waiting to get this for about a year. So, let's check it out. So, when you open, so, first thing first, look at the box, you know that it says 150th anniversary, Golden Spike, 1869 to 2019. Uh, and then we have Great Ways Race to Promontory, and Big Bo and we have the writing Big Boy 4014. And we have the Union Pacific Shield. On the back, there's nothing. There's just a plain white box, but we have an Atherin Genesis logo. We have some information. But so here it is. So this is um, a Union Pacific Big Boy 4014 Great Race to Promontory edition, and. Uh, this is an N scale model of it, so let's check it out. So let me when you open the box, just let me take that off. We have a warranty registration card, um, just in case if your engine gets damaged. And then we have a uh, a, a book for, um, by Atherin Trains uh, to show you um, uh, some stuff about it. So. It talks about the history of the engine and how to uh, repair it with some parts, like disassemble it, and uh, for the tender too, and how to work it at DCC. But that's just the book. We don't need to worry about that. We want to get to the real thing. So we're gonna. Sh um, I'm gonna show you it in three, two, one. Bam! There she is, guys. Brand spanking new. Um. So we're gonna get it out of the box. Uh, so it's wrapped in this plastic thing here, so I'm going to take the uh, stuff off the table so then we can look at it. Alright, there we go. So, here it is. So I'm just going to slide this thing off. And then you can take a look, take a look at it. And there it is. So, let's get it out. Taking the engine out of the box is pretty hard it's a little hard to do so let's take a look at it all right guys here it is here is the big boy 4014 up close and I'm gonna tell you something about this engine this engine was built in 1941 by the Alco locomotive works the American locomotive company or Alco and it was originally built to haul military equipment over the uh, over Sherman Hill and it uh, was later retired in 1959 and was later donated to the mu the Pomona the Rail Giants Train Museum in Pomona, California at the LA County Fairgrounds. The engine was later re brought back to the Cheyenne shops after Union Pacific announced that they would bring a big boy back into res restoration. The engine was brought to the Cheyenne shops and restored, and it was just in pieces. Work on the engine was just really hard, and they just got, they just had a hard time trying to get it put together because they had other great event, like go, other great steam engines they had to work on, like 844. After 844's restoration was finally complete, they could get to the big boy. And on May 1st, 2019, the locomotive moved under its own power for the first time. And it made it, it started its excursion to prom, to Ogden, Utah on May 4th and came back to Cheyenne on May 19th. 
And funny story, I actually got to see 4014 in person. If you uh, check out to my, uh, if you check out the link in the description, I'll, I'll send you a link to the description of the four videos I have of it. Um, be sure to check every single one of them out. Um, it was actually a great thing. It was actually amazing to see the engine up close, but I didn't get to see it completely up close because of uh, because the uh, Union Pacific told us to stay about 25 feet away from the tracks. So, yeah, um, I heard that they're probably possibly running this year, so that's gonna be great. So I'm gonna try to go see it again. But at, let's take a look at the details now. So the front of the locomotive features the. Uh, features the number plate on the front we got the headlight and then we have some railings that are pretty bendable so I should be careful so here we have these marker lights and here we have the flying number boards and now they might be a little off but um, uh, but you can barely notice it but and then we have the bell and you can barely see it but you can see um, the riding big boy in chalk on the smoke box store. I'm going to zoom in on it. Oops, sorry. There we go. So you can see it there. And uh, and we got some. Oh, it's out of focus. Hold on, guys. There we go. Um, uh, down here is where the coupler for the, pi the pilot. And under it, you, you can swing it out so there would be a coupler on the front. And it's a dummy coupler. But, um, I, according to the instructions, you can replace it with a Microtrains 1016 coupler, but I can't do that yet, and I'm trying to figure out how to swing it open, so if you guys know, please tell me in the comments. But, here we have the side, and you can tell how massive this locomotive is. It, the camera just can't, just can't take, I just cannot find out, I just cannot show you the entire engine because the it's just so long. It's longer than my phone that I'm recording with. Um, we've got the uh, the railings, and uh, we've got all the wheel, the drive gear, and the pilot truck and the trailing truck. You've got the uh, drive gear, the four, the number forty fourteen on the side of the cab, and we've also got you can barely see it but there's uh uh valves for like wheel valves and uh under here you can barely you don't you can't really tell what this is but this is the ash pan back when this engine was um uh back when this engine was running back when it was hauling military equipment it ran on coal so they needed an ash pan but they converted this engine to run on oil so they don't need to use the ash pan anymore but they still keep it there uh, just to show you what engines used to run it on. So, um, uh, yeah, uh, on the tr on the in the cab there there's some detail like there's some detail inside, but you can't open inside the cab like my 844. But yeah, so on the top of the engine we have some. Uh, Safety pop-off valves, a steam dome, two sand domes, and we've got cab roof detail, and then we got some more safety equipment on it, and there's a little brass whistle there, and then we have the smokestack area, and we have the part that hangs the bell up. So. This other side is basically the same thing, so I'm not going to show you the other side, but I'll show you the other side when it's running, but here we have the tender, so the tender is actually, this is, this tender is actually the uh, Union Pacific Challenger, this is actually 3985's tender, um, when 44, they didn't really have, 4014's original tender um, was meant to run on coal, then they were going to convert the coal bunker into an oil bunker. And they didn't have to get it ready for uh, May, May 10th because they had a spare one from 3985. 3985, excuse me. Now, on the back of the, on the, on the side of the tender, um, it's basically the same as 844's tender. It just has slightly differences. Like, uh, we, it's a little bigger tender. We have the 
the name written on the side of Union Pacific. So, if you look at the trucks, there's like about uh, 10 wheels or 12 wheels, or I cannot say it, like probably six, 14 wheels on, the, on this tender, which is pretty amazing. So, on the back of the tender, it doesn't say the number 4014, and you could tell that this was the Challenger's tender. So, you have some, uh, a ladder on the side. Then we have some marker lights, and a little backup. And then we have, like, a little marker light on the top. Or a Mars light, I guess. And then there's a backup light. Excuse me. Now, on the other side, it's basically the same thing, so, yeah. And I forgot to show you on the other side of the big boy um, about this, but there's more valves on the side. Anyway, so on the top of the tender, um, uh, we have uh, water hatches so you can open the tank and let the water in. And here we have the oil bunker for the uh, oil to go inside. We have the dipstick. So, yeah, that's all for the big boy. Now, um, uh, I'm going to show you it running on the layout. Alright guys, here it is on the layout, and it's pulling a uh, special Union Pacific Office Car Special train. I said special twice. And I have it paired up with my Union Pacific 1111, the Power Bar People Unit. And I always wanted to see these two engines together, and I get to see it on my layout finally. And if you guys really want these two engines to be together, just Put in the comments and see if you want it. Um, my friend uh, SD70 Mac Productions says that he wants to see 4014 and Centennial 6936 together, and I agree. I want to see that too. So well, I'm going to show you it running now. So let's check it. Out.